another cool thing about your background is that your undergrad from the University of Toronto is in pharmacology. Um, so the study of pharmaceutical substances and how they act. Um, so super cool, a biology specialization. And you also, uh, uh, right after that, you worked as a research assistant at the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research. So does any of that, your background in pharmacology or cancer research, does that still make an impact on what you're doing today as a data scientist at a big tech company? Yeah, I've been, I've been like, you know, been kind of flitting around for a while, huh? It's like first biology, uh, and then I'm like pre-med. I didn't work out, so let's do some bioinformatics, and then let's go into finance for a bit, and now we're in tech. Uh, I think it may be surprising to say that it helps out just as much as computer science does. Um, oh, wow. And, I think it's very interesting because I certainly wasn't like, I think I'm going to be pre-med and then I'm going to go do a computer science degree so I can become a good data scientist. I thought that didn't happen, but it somehow really worked out. Um, and that's because I always say data science is oftentimes really about exploring things, like understanding things through a a data perspective, right? And in a way, that's what science is as well. It's about um you have a problem, you try and figure it out using a scientific method, and you have the data and you try to draw conclusions about it. It just so happens that for uh, data science, you have more data and you have different techniques of doing so. So maybe instead of doing surveys, maybe instead of just analyzing small data sets, you just happen to have bigger data sets. And instead of um, analyzing things using certain software, you just use you just code your your software and you use different modules to do that. But I think the essence of data science is is actually very similar. I would say it's actually the same as the scientific method. Uh, also, the stats kind of helped a lot. <laughs> yeah, definitely the the stats that you learn in uh, any quantitative science degree, along with that kind of critical thinking you're describing, the scientific method, in a lot of ways. That is what data science is. Um, add in some more software development usually, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's a big component 